Alright ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching. This is Mark Anderson, I am for Kellogg Community College and in this um, second video to talk about complex fractions, we're going to look at some advanced techniques. Um, in the previous video did six problems. Uh, this is going to deal with the last two types of problems. Um, and like before, I'm going to look at the numerator and I'm going to uh, check to see what is a common denominator I can give the numerator. and um, these two um, monomials have a denominator of 1, and this 12 has a denominator of x plus 2. So if I'm just able to multiply each x and the 3 by a fancy 1, or an x plus 2 over x plus 2, um, we can get a common denominator uh, for the numerator. So I'm going to distribute the x times the x plus 2, so this is x squared plus 2x. Uh, then multiply the 3 times the x plus 2, so this is uh, 3x plus 6, and the plus 12, all over x plus 2. Now I'm going to change the pen color, and I'm going to go to the denominator, and I'm going to see that, just like the problem up above it, I have a x plus 2 for my third term, and my first two terms don't have a denominator, so I'm going to multiply x plus 2 by each of these as well. All right, and so I do my little distribution here, and so I have x squared plus 2x, um, and then the next piece is going to be, multiply this by that, so that's gonna be x, uh, sorry, 2x plus four minus three all over x plus two. Now, I said in this video I was going to do a little bit of a, some advanced techniques, and what I'm going to do here is, is show you that the next step is traditionally to skip, flip, and multiply, and take this fraction and rewrite it up here. But I want to kind of look at these um, as like four different levels, like levels one, two, let me make that a two, three, and four. These four levels, what you'll note is that levels two and four are the same. Um, which means that if I skip, flip, and multiply, these will be um, crisscross from each other, or you know, one will be a denominator and one will be the numerator, and they will simplify to make one or cancel out. So when we have the situation where levels two and levels four are the same, and we're going to skip, flip, and multiply because these are divided, then we can just kind of like cut out the middleman and just simplify it right there. Uh, level one will be the numerator, and level three will be the denominator, so technically these just become the uh, numerator and denominator of the final answer. If I do a little simplification, I can show that I'll have x squared plus 5x, whoops, I wrote a 5 there just because I just thought about it, x squared plus 5x plus 18, all over x squared plus 4x plus 1, and I'm actually at my final answer. Um, and this actually could have been done fast like this because the denominator of the first uh, the denominator of the numerator is the same as the denominator of this denominator. Huh. So the same thing happens in problem number eight, um, where I will see that both the top and bottom of this uh, complex fraction both will have a common denominator of x and x minus one. Now I'm first going to do a little swipe swipe there just so I don't forget that that's a plus negative but I'm going to multiply this by a x plus 1 over x plus 1. I'm going to multiply this by an x over x. Do the same thing down here, x plus 1 over x plus 1, and over here, x over x. So do some distribution there. So I've got 2x plus 2 minus x over x times x plus 1, which is going to be the same denominator as my bottom fraction as well. So let me just kind of keep going through the color cycle here. So down here, we're going to have 6x plus 6 plus x all over x times x plus 1. And we can see that because of level, the same thing in the previous problem, level 2 and 4 are exactly the same. So if I decided to skip, flip, and multiply, which would put this on its head over here, that these would simplify and then I have to do a little simplification here. So this is going to be x plus 2 in the numerator. And then down here, uh, since this would flip and be on the bottom then, this is going to be 7x plus 6 in the denominator for my final answer there. 
Well, thank you for watching. This is a really short video, but if you want to see the full explanation of the other six complex fraction problems, uh, you can see the previous video in part one of complex fractions. Thanks for watching.